Is it uh, too early in the season or too corny to say tomorrow night's a must win for you guys? Break a losing streak and get back up to get back in? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, obviously every game is a little more important this year with a shortened year. And uh, lately we haven't been able to kind of sneak out that win, although two shootouts are in the mix there. But we got to find a way to get two points, and it'll uh, definitely start tomorrow. What is it about the three of you on that line with uh, Zach and Kessel that seems to click to the point that Randy doesn't want to break you up at all? Uh, you know, I think we're, when we're on our game, I think we're just doing a good job of dictating the, kind of the pace of the game and the flow of the game out there. I mean, it's, uh, I think we can be, uh, create a lot of offense and be strong on our own end and be kind of tough to play against and create some momentum for our team. So we got to continue to try to do some of that stuff. Tribute to NCAA hockey. I mean, uh, UNH carrying this line, or is it Denver, or is it Minnesota? Yeah, you know, I think it, it definitely goes to show, I think, especially in this room, I think we got a lot of college hockey players in here. and. They're both great routes, but for me personally, I think uh, I'm more prone to thinking that college hockey is the better route to go. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's always a fun kind of battle you can have with certain guys about it. Looking ahead just before you go to, to what you guys do in terms of concentrating offensively, given the weapons they've got at the other side, uh, how, do you, how do you get a proper balance in a game like that against Tampa? Yeah, it's huge. I was able to actually watch a little bit of their game last night, and you see how much speed they have up front and uh, how dynamic they are. So you really got to make sure you're on your toes defensively and uh, try to create some turnovers and go the other way. And as wingers, uh, what can you guys do well to prevent from getting pinned in and helping the rest of the guys out there? I think the key is just to be strong on the walls. Is there a team that really likes to get in there and get down the wall and kind of pin you, try to pin you in your zone? So you got to make sure you're making uh, hard plays in the wall. Yeah. Is there anything you guys look at internally that kind of explains what's happened the last five games as opposed to the previous 20 or so? I think anytime you're not getting the results you want, you always try to look to tweak things a little bit. But, uh, you know, there's been some games where we've had some, uh, we've stuck to our identity and played well, but other games where we've kind of been a little bit inconsistent with it. So we want to try to play that consistent 60 minute game and uh, try to start with that and go from there. A few days between games, how's it felt in terms of body getting back and mind settling down as well? I'm, I'm sure it's been welcome. Yeah, it's always good, especially with the schedule. It seems like it's one, one game after the other, so you really got to make sure you take advantage of uh, the time to rest and uh, heal up and get ready for the following uh, stretch here. So, uh, yeah, it's been good. As a guy that's been a you know, pretty regular crease crasher, uh, do you think that that's more of an, op more of an option or more of a, an offensive focus for teams now to just get that bump with the goalie and, and try and create a little... Uh, greasy goals, as Reimer was saying. Uh, what do you mean, bump with the goalie? Well, just the, the, the you know the goalie interference rule and how that's been a focus. Well, yeah, I, I don't really go there looking to touch the goalie. I I just want to get there. That's where the puck always is. At some point or another, it's going to get thrown to the net. So if you're there, more often than not, then you're going to be around the puck. So uh, yeah, you try to get you try to get to those good areas. I don't really go there to touch the goalie. I I'm, I'm kind of more worried about the guys trying to cross check me in front than the goalies, but. Uh, yeah, you, you try to get to that area. You try to make it hard on the goalie, take his eyes away, and make sure he can't see. And I don't know, it's a tough area to be in. There's a lot of pushing and shoving. So sometimes, I guess you maybe get pushed onto him, and it's just there's a lot of you're battling for your ice there. So uh, I don't think you ever go there to hit the goalie, but sometimes it does happen, I guess.